had to replace a bad hard drive on a HP 630 laptop or notebook. So first you need to uh, turn off the computer, then turn it over. What you need to do next is to remove the battery. Pull out the battery. Then we need to pull out two uh, of the back cover here. So I unscrew this one first. There's a small screw here. You need to unscrew. And pull out the cover. This covers the RAM. Now there is another screw right here. You need to open. It sits just above the RAM module. There's only one screw you need to unscrew. Then you pull out the top cover here. Now beneath here is four screws. You need to take out those four screws to remove the hard drive. After you have unscrewed all the four screws, simply from this end, push the hard drive back. You need to push it out of the slot. So you need to pull up a little bit. This is a small hole, you need to pull up the hard drive. So we need to pull up the hard drive a little bit on this side and then we need to pull out this clip here. So this is a there is a small hole right here. So that's why we need to lift up the hard drive and then pull it out. And then we need to detach it from the main cable, the hard drive cables. And here's your hard drive and here's is the caddy. So in order for you to replace the hard drive, we need to uh, unscrew the caddy here. So unscrew the force wheel and then put in put in your new hard drive. After you got the caddy back on the hard drive, simply um, attach it with the cables available on the laptop right here. So just attach it back in and then we're gonna put it back into the holes. Make sure that Make sure the caddy is aligned with the black plastic hole right here. Then we can put the screw back in. Once you put all the force wheel back in, you put the back cover back on. So place it at an angle, then push it down. Then we're going to put the screws back in. Again the same, we're going to put the cover back on top of the memory module. Place it at an angle and then push it down. Tighten the screws. Finally, we can put the battery back on. 
make sure it is locking and turn your laptop over and you can start the laptops and that's it thank you for watching this video